as a teenager, I was always told you can't make any money in art. My parents told me that. My grandfather said the same thing. But um, I actually kind of proved them wrong. After years of working in the banking industry internationally, Vidya Bulkov returns home and reignited her passion and love for art. Most artists had some kind of skill. I didn't. I could not draw. Um, so I was always kind of jealous of other artists. You know, they, they, they wanted to, be, to do art and they just created. I, I couldn't do it. This was a, a total 180 degree for me um, to become an artist. I've, like, I've always wanted to do it. I just never thought it would happen. So this is really me um, living my dream. Vidya got the opportunity of a lifetime to pursue art. Um, I stumbled on an art academy in 2017 when we were in Anguilla. It's called Annie Art Academies. And I literally begged them to take me. <laughs> and um, I studied art for four and a half years, a, a full-time curriculum. Um, learning to draw. I did the language of drawing and the language of painting. Taking her passion to the next level after moving to Tobago during the COVID-19 pandemic, Vidya established Yellow Butterfly Studios. On the walls of this space, there are stories told about Tobago's culture. I want to, to focus on the culture of Trinidad and Tobago um, because looking, you, you know, there are, there are artists who paint dark pieces and good for them. I want to create pieces that, when you look at it, you smile. You, you look at a piece of art, like for instance, Shamika, when I asked her what, I said, what were you feeling when that image was captured? And she said, she, she opened the uh, Tobago Heritage Festival, and she said, I was feeling joy and pain at the same time. And I wanted to be able to capture that on her face. And that's, that's my goal as an artist, to continue to capture those moments in history. The pieces are intricate, colorful and vibrant, like one of our favorites, the Coconut Man. She creates hyperrealism. I think the detail is what makes a painting. You know, if, if, if somebody were to look at, at any piece of art and they would see the glint or the eyelashes and they want to know how I do it, I take pleasure and I take pride in putting in those little details. And it's not easy. It, you know, sometimes I feel like just leaving it, but when I'm done with it, I feel a sense of pride. With the recent closure of Tobago's cruise ship season, tourists were a major part of her customer base. People come in, they look around, they ask if I can paint them. <laughs> Everybody wants me to paint them. Um, and then but when the cruise ship passengers started coming in, they were asking for smaller pieces. Um, things that they could stick in their suitcases. So I started creating smaller pieces and keepsakes. And I, I really didn't want to create touristy art, but I started doing that and I'm really enjoying it. So I create, you know, like block prints, napkins and placemats. While Vidya continues to hone her skills, she's also taking Tobago's youth on the journey with her. Last July, August, she offered free art classes to students. Seeing these students, Sometimes they would come here and they would spend the whole day, really enjoy themselves and see them create a piece. And they, they, they didn't know each other at the beginning. They became friends. Um, but seeing, I, I want to, to continue to, to um, leave a platform for students to create work of art. Vidya is preparing pieces for Indian Arrival Day as she hopes to have her work on display at art shows in Trinidad. I am Carissa Douglas for TTT News and I love Tobago.